Paw Paw is very hard to miss, especially when it's in fruit. Uh, you see these large tropical looking fruits hanging in a tree in the north, uh, you're pretty likely onto the Paw Paw. Now, the Paw Paw can grow in full shade, partial sun, or in full sun, but the leaves typically take on the same appearance, basically a foot long, uh, deep green lobed uh, leaf pattern. But really the easiest way to notice them is in the springtime when they put out these gothic looking flowers, which they put out before they leaf out. So when you see a tree dangling with a bunch of purple gothic flowers, chances are it's the pawpaw. And here is our young food forest. Uh, you'll see these pawpaws, which are kept low for harvesting, are loaded with uh, pawpaw flowers. Now this is April in Maryland, and they are coming out looking for their pollinators, typically flies and gnats. Now you won't always see this many pawpaw flowers on a tree. These are in full sun. Uh, I prune them back to help stimulate uh, one-year-old growth, which is what flowers and produces fruit, but these flowers are hard to miss. Here's the same food forest in September uh, when we do most of our harvesting of the fruit. And you can see how, how nicely the leaves have covered up and enclosed uh, the tree, which helps protect that fruit from the sun. Uh, but when you're looking for pawpaws in a tree, you've got to look carefully. You've got to sort of get in there and have a look. And when you see those low, you see those low hanging fruit, uh, you know you found your tropical treat. And I'll leave you here with an experience of the exquisite flavor and texture of the pawpaw, which is reminiscent of banana, pineapple, mango. It's an absolute tropical treat. So find you some.